I made my photographs 48 by 60 inches, which is four by five feet, starting in 1982. And what was unusual about them was because I used that large format camera that the resolution in the photographs was so beautiful, the focus, the detail. I was frustrated by not only the narrative but the structure of the photograph because the photograph is such a boring, flat, one-dimensional piece of paper. It's very difficult to create space and scale. That's when I started directing the people in the pictures. I knew I wanted my photographs to be about family. I knew I wanted them to be about the relationships between the family members, but also the, the interiors, the context that they were in was very important to me. This was my sister's wedding in my aunt and uncle's apartment, and we would go there every Christmas for Christmas lunch. So I knew this apartment well. It was part of my life, part of my history, part of the tradition of our family. And it just was very quick that I took this picture. She happened to get up, perfect moment. This is in seconds. Now I have a tripod, a heavy camera. I'm carrying four by five film backs between my legs. I have to open up the lens to focus. I don't know that Jill's gonna get up from that chair. I yell to my half-brother Paul, who's sitting in the chair, look at Jill, and Andrea, her back is to me. And I learned from theater, you don't want the back to the audience, so I quickly yell, Andrea, turn to the left. The part of the photograph I love the most, of course, is Jill. She's the star. And the gesture of her getting up from that chair was so beautiful. Not only her profile, but the designer dress, the transparency of the dress, the bag that's sort of clutched between her legs like a little nest, and the fact that the flowers are going through her hair. And then what I love more than anything are the lamps on either side of her. There's an angel on her right whose dress almost looks like hers that you can see through the legs of the angel, but then the angel has a halo that looks like the hat on my sister's head. And then you look behind and you see the Picasso with the hands that are in this strange kind of position, sort of mimicking Jill's hands. I knew that I wanted Andrea there because her hair matched the walls, but that she had that slit down the back of her dress, which gave entry to the eye of the viewer and didn't make such a block of white that could have been if she had not had that slit down her dress. And that there is a circle that the viewer's eye goes around because Paul is looking over, because Andrea is looking to the left. And that excites the eye in the long run. That's an awful lot to get in one frame, in one photograph. When I get the four by five contact back, I know immediately this is a winner. There's something very rewarding and exciting about having the ability to really look hard. And I always say, there is no way you can really stare at somebody, even if it's your mate or your family member, as close as you do as when you photograph. You get the opportunity to really look at something in, in a way that you can't do in real life. within WTK they have been small business entrepreneurs themselves. It makes it easier for small business owners to share their issues. You've got someone to go with you and to hold your hands all throughout the journey and to make sure your company is going to be sustainable. It gives you the confidence to really think big. It's like you've got 